Welcome to the Greater My Olive Christ Sunday morning message where our pastor's elder, Carl Lofton Sr. Greater My Olive is located at 6810 South Figueroa Street in Los Angeles, zip code 90003. Now, let's join Greater My Olive's Sunday morning message now in progress. everyone it is good to see you in the house of the Lord God bless everyone it's good to see you in the house of the Lord this is 2022 the first Sunday of the beginning of the year second day of the new year and the Bible says that we enter his gates with what thanksgiving and praise so somebody give God a thanks in this place Somebody give God a praise in this place. See, when you came through the door, when you came through the door, you should have had thanksgiving and praise in your heart. If you have it in your heart, it's automatically going to come out of your mouth. Somebody say amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, open your mouths. Hallelujah. See, this is a whole different year. We got to set it off different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to start out with our opening song, and that will be coming from our own sister Manning. Amen. Then we're going to go into prayer and scripture. Praise God. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, if you want your body healed, tell him what you want. Oh, if you want your body healed, tell him what you want. If you want your body healed, tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, yes. call him up. Yes. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you, Heavenly Father. This is the day that you've made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for the new year, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the opportunity to come into the new year, Father God. We thank you for everything that you've done last year, but we're also blessing you and thanking you for what you're going to do this year, Father God. We're uh, looking for a miraculous move in you, Father God, in 2022, Heavenly Father. Father God, bless this church, Heavenly Father. Bless the ministry, Heavenly Father. Bless the members of this ministry, Heavenly Father. Bless everyone that are here and the ones that are not here, Father God. 
And Father God, as the word comes on today, send the rhema word. Let it fall down like rain, Heavenly Father. Let it be a rhema word unto your people, Heavenly Father. And we thank you, Heavenly Father. Father God, bless the ones that are sick, Heavenly Fathers, and the ones that are uh, on Facebook and also on the conference call, Heavenly Father. We thank you for everything that you're doing and everything that you've done. If you agree with that, someone say amen. 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 Now you're in the hands of Deacon Calloway. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. I'm coming with you. First John, verse 7. It says, But who will walk in the light as himself in the light was having fellowship with one another? The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, clean us for all our sins. I read you verse 1. Set a verse. Amen. Amen. Now you're in the hands of our Minister of Music, James Borden. Praise him in the morning, praise him in the noonday, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down, oh come on and praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noonday, praise him, praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Oh, praise him. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Oh, I love him. Love him. Love him in the morning, love him in the noonday. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Oh, come on and praise him, praise him. Praise him in the morning, praise him in the noonday. Praise him, praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Oh, let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise the name forever and ever more. Oh, let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise the name forever and evermore. Come on and praise him. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him. Praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Come on and praise him, praise him. Praise him in the morning, praise him in the noonday. Praise him, praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Hallelujah. Praise him when the sun goes down. 
You praise him when the sun comes up. You praise him before you go to sleep. You praise him before you go to work. You praise him before you get in your car. But you give him praise because of who he is. Amen, amen, amen. It is good to see everyone in the house of the Lord again, giving honor to our pastor, Pastor Carl Lofton, First Lady, and all the saints of God. It is good to see you on 2022. Amen, amen. And if we would, we're going to ask if our deacon and well, our deacon will get in the in. In the place of our ushers, we have volunteers. First the thing, if you see a need, if you see a need and find a need, well, I see they need, they saw the need, so they felt it. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. This is uh, time for our mission offering. And this is not our main offering, but our mission offering. And if you're ready, somebody say amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for this time of giving. We thank you for the opportunity, Heavenly Father. Father God, bless this offering, Heavenly Father, and multiply so we're able to do what this ministry is called to do, Heavenly Father. And bless everyone that are able and the ones that are not able to give, Heavenly Father, at this time. We thank you in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Now you're in the hands of the ushers. Amen, amen. Thank you for your giving and liberality. Now it is time for our announcements, and that is coming from our own evangelist, Sister Everett. Amen. Good morning, saints. Good morning. And happy new year to everyone. Blessed new year. I'm raising today because Greater Mount Olive has such a rich history. We were founded back in the 1930s, I believe. I'm not really sure. 53. 53? I'm sorry. Thank you. And I'm asking all of the older members or even any member that has any pictures or any memorandums that you could let us use, not have, but just use 
because we'd like to put it on our website so that people can know more about us and where we came from and why we're still standing here today. So anyone that's within the sound of my voice that has something that you would like to share with Greater Mount Olive, please contact me. My name is Margie Everett at Greater Mount Olive, and uh, let me have your pictures just for a minute to take copies of them. Thank you very much, and everyone have a blessed day.
up with one accord. Every praise, 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 every praise. Come on and praise the Lord. Every praise, every praise, every praise belongs to God. Come on. Kindly stand to your feet if you can, real quick. We didn't have, we have not been having a white service, but this is the new year. This is the first service of the new year. So I don't know about you, but I can't think of a better place to be than in the house of the Lord as we start a brand new year. Some folk didn't make it through last year, but take a look around and thank God that He brought us through another year. Some of us went through a lot of stuff last year, but you're still here. Some of us got sick last year, but you're still here. Some of us lost loved ones last year, but you're still here. Some of us went through disease last year, but you're still here. Some of us went through struggles last year, but you're still here. And I don't know what you've come to do, but I've come to praise the Lord. I don't know what you've come to do, but I've come to say thank you. I don't know what you've come to do, but I've come to bless his name as we enter into a brand new year of life, a brand new year of highs, a brand new year of lows, whatever the God brings us through. Tell somebody to tell them God brought me through another year. Tell somebody to say, God brought you through another year. Put your hands together and thank the Lord. And tell somebody it's good to see you in this brand new year. You may be seated. We thank God for those of you who are have pressed your way out on this brand new year. I don't know, as I stayed in another place, I'd rather start my year off than in the house of the Lord. Because I don't even know what this evening holds. Y'all don't hear me here. <laughs> and God saw fit to bring us through 365 days. I don't care how bad it's been. I'm going to talk about it in the message, but you're still here. You made it. The devil should have took you out while he had the chance. But God didn't see fit to let none of those things be. And so I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be in the presence of the live, land of the living and in the house of the Lord on today. We give honor to God and to our elders and 
the evangelist missionaries and a great amount of church family and everyone here and those that are watching us via Facebook Live or via telephone conference call. We want to, and of course, our first lady, let's praise the Lord for her. And on behalf of First Lady and our family, we want to wish everyone a happy new year. We are now in the year 2022. We thank God for our musicians on today. Deacon Calloway is on one of his many hats again. Thank God for him and all of the saints of God be your team. Good to see all of you in the house of the Lord on today. We want to keep uh, Deacon Neal and Chris Givens and Sister Joanne Ford and Sister Ephraim and the Mitchell family and everyone on our church prayer list, Elder Manny, uh, during your prayer time. How I many know that prayer changes things? Amen. Prayer changes things. That's your time to talk to the Lord. I also keep praying about this um, COVID-19 virus, which has mutated again from the Delta to uh, now the Omicron, and they're saying that it's not as severe as the others and that it's more contagious, but that it should be nearing the, wane, the waning years of waning part of this virus mutation. And so we thank God for whatever um, he sees fit. But we still have to be vigilant, and we have to be careful and mindful of, of what we do uh, in, the, in the interim, amen? And as I keep stating, um, a lot of it is inconvenient. In fact, our children go back to school tomorrow, a lot of kids. And so um, we want to keep everyone, everyone prayer, prayed up and lifted up and, and masked up and sanitized up and all that stuff. Amen. So we thank God for that. Also, um, uh, Sister I Ever was asking us earlier, my sister, uh, First Lady and I earlier, about uh, um, Michael and Hannah's baby that's due. Um, he's actually due today. So that means any t in between now and any time, he could be um, joining us as our third grandchild. And so we want to keep them lifted up uh, in prayer. Her mother and father are deceased. And, um, and she's also originally from the Netherlands, and so family is us. Amen. And so um, First Lady is going to be assisting as the mother does. Uh, when the time arises, when needed, and I'll be there uh, uh, cheering, cheering her own. <laughs> Me and Michael, you know, our, our mothers are mothers, and they just know. Um, so we need, she needs a mother figure with her uh, during that time. And so we'll be there to run the errands and go to the grocery store and all that kind of stuff and go get diapers. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, but we thank God for um, the gift of life. It just keeps evolving. You know, one leaves, another one comes. So life just keeps on evolving in itself. Was any birthdays this past week? All right. Let's prepare to share in the worth of the Lord at this time. If you need an envelope, lift your hands. The earth will provide you with one. Well, the deacons will provide you with one. I was telling Elder James, I guess some folks still celebrating the new year, but I can't think of a place I'd rather be than in the church on the first day of the first Sunday of the year. Amen. And once you prepare your ties, we will pray God's blessings upon it. Um, those that are giving online or in the mail, uh, you can give the Give Lify, uh, Great Amount of Church of God in Christ, 6810 South Figueroa Street, Los Angeles, California, 90003, where you may mail or send your financial support as well as your prayer requests. We will gladly receive and pray for uh, you as you need it appropriately. Thank you. I keep saying, find the need and fill it. We thank God for those that are assisting us on today. Church should be full today. I don't know what, what, anyway, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the, everyone standing. And lift up your tithes and offerings as unto the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege and opportunity of being able to be a blessing. Even as you have also first blessed us, we pray, Lord, that you would bless both this tithe and this offering. 
those that have to give as well as those that have not but have the desire to do so. Let it all be used for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Prepare to share and work the Lord. You're in the hands of the earth. God bless you. Thank you so very, very much for the morality. You're in the hands of musicians.
You're my prince of peace And I worship you Because of who you are Lord, I worship you because of who you are, oh, Jehovah Jireh, Lord, you're my provider, oh, Jehovah of who you are, Jehovah Jireh, you're my provider, Jehovah Nisi, oh, Lord, you Jehovah Shiloh, oh, you're my prince of peace, and I worship you. Come on now, come on, come on. Lord, I worship you. Yes, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Oh, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Yes, I worship you. Cause of who you are. Lord, Because of who you are. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for that selection. Well, let's go briefly to the Word of God on this Communion Sunday. Turn with me to the book of Philippians. Chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. Verses 6 through 8. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8, as we begin the new year. I was led to the scripture at the beginning of last year, actually. But I couldn't get away from it this year either because it's so appropriate. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. It says, be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding 
will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, somebody say good report. Come on, say it like you mean a good report. If there's any virtue, and if these, if anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Here's what I want us to say. If, repeat after me. I've had some good days. Come on, say it like you mean to say. I've had some good days, and I've had some bad days. But my good days outweigh my bad days. Come on, turn to somebody and say, I've had some good days. This past year, and I've had some bad days, but my good days, but my good days, but my good days outweigh my bad days. Come on and give God praise. My good days. Somebody in here has had some good days. Somebody in here has had some blessed days. Somebody in here, God has brought to do some things last year. Don't believe me? Take a look around and look who's still here. Put yourself and say, I must have had some good days because I'm still here. Y'all ain't going to help me here today. Put yourself and say, I had some good days because I'm still here. Tell somebody, tell them, you had some good days because you're still here. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's easy to look at what we don't have. It's easy to remember what we didn't do, right? But somebody here, God blessed you at least one time last year. People can mumble and complain and mumble and complain and mumble and complain and complain and mumble and mumble and complain and mumble, mumble, mumble and complain and complain and complain. If you're looking for the things that went wrong, you can always find that. But I ain't got time for that. I'm, I'm too busy looking for the things that went right. Has God done some good things for somebody up in here? Okay, three of you. Has God been good to somebody in here? Some folk didn't make it through last year. Some folk are still in the hospital from last year. Y'all are going to help me here today. But look at you. But better yet, look at God in you. Church folk ought to be the happiest people on the planet. He says in verse 5, I don't know if we got community, but he says, be anxious for nothing. In other words, stop stressing out about stuff. Stop worrying about everything. Some folk just worry about everything. Nervous about everything. Complain about everything. Listen, listen, listen. Don't you know that stress leads to a whole other set of problems? Tell somebody and say, stop stressing out. Punch yourself and say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Come on, say it like you mean. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Stress will cause you to lose your appetite. Then it will cause you to get weak because you ain't eating. Stress will cause you to not be able to sleep at night. Now you're irritable and mean and mad because you ain't getting no rest. Y'all are going to help me here today. Can't nobody stand to be around you just snapping at them. Don't even want to be around yourself. Stress will cause you to have ulcers. Stress will cause your hair to turn gray uh, prematurely. Y'all are going to help me here today. Stress will put you in the hospital. Now, don't confuse concern with worry. They're not the same thing. If I got a pink slip on my job, I have a reason to be concerned. But I ain't worried about it. Because my God shall supply all my need. According to the reason, he said, the power of death and life is in the tongue. Too many people are speaking death to themselves. I can't do this, and that ain't going to go right. You're right, it ain't. 
But he says, who's going to believe, yourself or God? Whose report are you going to believe? Somebody here ought to say, I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. He said, be anxious for everything. Oh, two of y'all listening. He said, be anxious for some things. He said, be anxious depending on what it is. He said, be anxious for what? I can't hear you. For what? For nothing. Because who's running this thing? God is bigger than your circumstances. That's what he wants you to understand. What are you stressing out about something that God has control over? What are you worried about for stuff that you can't fix? But God says, I got your back. I got this. So what are you worried about it for? So I had some help up in here. Worry about stuff that God has I've already gone ahead of you and already fixed what you're going through before you even went through it. So what you stressing out about? Trust in the Lord. And lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways and not to him, and he will direct you. The footsteps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. You don't go through nothing by mistake. I said you don't go through nothing by mistake. Some things are more painful than others, but you don't go through nothing by mistake. God will allow certain things to happen in your life. Listen, if you never got sick, how would you know he's a healer? If you never needed a miracle, how would you know he's a miracle worker? If you never needed a breakthrough, how would you know he gives you a breakthrough? If you never had a battle, how would you know he gives you the victory? Can't have a testimony without a test. Even in school, they give you a test to find out what your learning level is, to find out what your capacity I have some teachers in here today to find out where you are. See, you've been, see if you've been paying attention in class. Because you've been paying attention in class, I gave you an open book exam. Amen. Everything you need to answer is already in the book. Amen. So what are you stressing out for stuff, for questions when the answer's already in there? Amen. Are y'all hearing me here today? Amen. I need to move on. I didn't mean to stay here that long. Be anxious. For nothing. The same God who brought you through before. How many know he's the same God that'll bring you out this time? I mean, the Lord said that weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. How many of y'all know that trouble don't last always? I believe the word there's a, a, a poem that says, God grant me the serenity. To accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. God grant me the, the wisdom, the, the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Well, what do you mean? That means there's some things that you can fix. And there's some things that you can't. But God can fix everything. I said, God can fix everything. Is there anything too hard for God? Stop trying to fix stuff that you can't fix. Let God fix it. Be anxious for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication. I mean, sometimes life will put you on your knees. Sometimes we can get so busy we ain't got time for God. We ain't got time to get on our knees. Or we're too uppity to get down on our knees. Or we got too much money to get down on our knees. But life and God has a way of getting you, making you humble. And getting off your high horse. And breaking you down. So you can't get through nothing without getting on your knees. You can't go another step further without getting on your knees and talking to God about it. I've tried everything I know how to do, Lord, but everything I do ain't working. I talk to everybody I know I can talk to, but can't nobody give me the answer. I've done everything that I thought I should do, but it only got worse. I'm here to tell somebody that sometimes you got to just go talk to Jesus. I said, you just go got to go have a little talk with God. I believe somebody said in the song, oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because 
We do not tell you everything. 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 Big problems to God in prayer. Small problems to God in prayer. Everyday issues to God in prayer. Your husband to God in prayer. Your wife to God in prayer. Your daughter to God in prayer. Your son to God in prayer. I wish I had some help up in here. Your sisters to God in prayer. Your aunties to God in prayer. Your uncles to God in prayer. Your president to God in prayer. Your senators to God in prayer. Your Congress people to God in prayer. Carry everything, 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 everything to God in prayer. They said be anxious for nothing. Kill them taking everything to God. I hope y'all seeing the pattern here. You had some good days, you had some bad days last year. Let me tell somebody, your good days just starting. You ain't seen no good days like you're going to have in 2022. I said, you ain't seen no good days like you're going to have in 2022. If you stop stressing about everything, if you start taking everything to God in prayer, God has said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard all the things that God has for those that love him. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord and who are the call according to his purpose. My God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not run in 2022. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper in 2022. Tell somebody say, you ain't seen nothing yet. But look at what God's going to do in 2022. Somebody say, look what God is going to do in 2022. You need to praise the Lord. But the third thing, he lets us know, and I'm almost done, is that first of all, stop stressing out about everything. For nothing. When all you got to do is take it to God. Take everything to God in prayer. And then God says he'll straighten it out. I say he'll straighten it out. He'll give you peace. He said in the peace of God. Well, let me back up. I'm going ahead of myself. And everything to prayer, but then be thankful. Don't want to skip that. In other words, he's saying, I ain't done it yet, but because you stopped worrying about it and because you brought it to me, I said, you've been to stop worrying about stuff and because you brought it to me, God is saying, now you need to just be thankful. Not for what you already got, but what God said, I'm going to do because you brought it to me. Yep. He said, call those things that be not as though they are. I said, call those things that be not as though they are. So God said, since you stop stressing out about it, since you brought it to me, you ought to start calling those things that be not as though they are and start saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me through. Thank you, Lord, I know you're going to bring me out. Thank you, Lord, I know you're going to change my circumstance. Thank you, Lord. I know you're going to heal my body. Thank you, Lord. I know you're going to answer my prayer. Thank you, Lord. I know you're going to give me the victory. Thank you, Lord. I know you're going to give me the breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. I know you're going to give me a miracle. Thank you, Lord. I know you're going to turn it around. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Thank you, Lord, for picking me up. Thank you, Lord, for food on my table. Thank you, Lord, for clothes on my back. And then he said, then I'll give you peace. I said, I'll give you peace. In other words, the peace that I give you, the world didn't give it to you. I said the world didn't give it to you, and the world can't take it away. They're going to talk bad about you. But God said you just be thankful, and I'll give you peace of mind. The world's going to call you crazy. But God said just be thankful anyhow, and I'll give you peace that passes all understanding. I'll give you peace in the storm. I'll give you peace in the valley. I'll give you peace when you're up. I give you peace when you're down. I give you peace when you're sick. 
I'll give you peace when you will. I'll give you peace when you're here. I'll give you peace when you don't have. I'll give you peace when you're on top. I'll give you peace when you're on the bottom. Because the world didn't give it to you. And the world can't take it away. The peace that I give you, no man will understand it. The peace that I give you, don't stress you out. The peace that I give you, will cause you to sleep at night. The peace that I give you, will give you a reason to give God praise for what God is saying. And I'm going to take my seat. Is that when you give God praise, I said when you give God praise, think of the good report, all the things that he's done for you, all the times he brought you out. And know what God said, whatever things are pure, whatever things are just, whatever things are lovely, whatever's of a good report, has God been good to you? Has God been good to you? Somebody up in here got one reason to give God praise. Somebody up in here got one reason to give God glory. Somebody up in here has at least one reason to magnify the Lord. I've had some good days and I've had some bad days, but I'm here to tell somebody, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. I can't help but shout. He's been too good to me. I can't help but dance. He's been too good to me. I can't help but jump. He's been too good to me. I can't help but clap. He's been too good to me. I don't know about you, but God has been too good for me to sit on my hands. I don't know about you, but God has been too good to not give him the glory. I don't know about you, but God has been too good for me to not lift him up. I said lift him up. I believe somebody said, it's like fire shut up in my bone. I can't help myself. I can't help myself about them that what it brought me through. I can't help myself when I think of what he's done for me. I can't help myself when I think of the miracle. I can't help myself when I think of the healing. I can't help myself when I think of food on my table. I can't help myself when I think I got clothes on my back. I can't help myself. Is there anybody up in here that got a reason to give God praise? that got a reason to give God the glory, that's got a reason to shout, 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 shout. 2022, come on and shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on, praise him! Come on, praise him! Hallelujah! 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 God has been good! Somebody said, ain't no party, ain't no party. I said, ain't no party. They celebrate New Year's Eve. They were jumping and shouting and drinking and getting drunk and celebrating the new year. But ain't no party. I said, ain't no party. I said, ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. I said, ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. Hallelujah! Yeah! Come on and praise him! Come on and praise him. Hey, 
let's have some church up in here. Yes, Lord. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. When I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, when I think of his goodness and how he set me free, I could dance, dance, dance. of his goodness and what he's done for me when I think of his goodness and how he set me free I could jump 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 hallelujah come on praise him hallelujah 2022 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on and bless the Lord! Come on and bless the Lord! Come on and bless the Lord! This is year 2022! The day of the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Let's see what God's going to do in 2022. I said, you haven't seen what God's going to do in 2022. Come on and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless us, Lord, on this brand new year. Cover us with your blood on this brand new year. And cast your angels round about us to protect us during this brand new year. Let no sickness come upon us during this brand new year. Let no disease come upon the people in this brand new year. Bless our finances in this year. Bless our marriages in this year. Bless our families in our years here. Bless our relationship in this year. But most importantly, Lord, teach us to give you the glory in this year. Teach us to serve you more in this year. Teach us to love you a little bit more in this year. And teach us to praise you. Teach us to praise you. Teach us to praise you in 2022. Hallelujah. Tell somebody one more time. And tell them you haven't seen what God's going to do in 2022. A brand new year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's not like we have a little church. Normally I like to start the new year off by praying for each of you, but now obviously because of the COVID and all that stuff, we have to do this safely and use wisdom. So every one of you just lift up your hands. I normally have you link across the aisles and all that. Here's what I always like for us to do every year, at least here at Greater Mount Island. 
on watch service, and since we have not had watch service, this is the first service of the new year. I'm going to pray with you in a moment, but first I need you, as the Bible says, be not scripted for you to pray. So don't worry about who's standing next to you. Don't worry about who's around you. Don't worry about what nobody's going to think. This is your year of blessings. And just begin to open up your mouth and just begin to talk to God. Come on, whatever you believe in God for, for this year. Come on, come on, say, come on, 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 whatever that may be. Some of us are praying for blessings, pressing, praying for healing, pressing for, praying for all kinds of things. Come on, 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 come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And now, Lord, while these hands are lifted up, speaking to and praying to you, I pray, Lord, I stand here as their shepherd, as an intermediary for these, your people, on this year, this new year, those that are watching or listening. I pray, God, your blessings upon them on this year. Enlarge their territories. Enlarge their health. Increase their finances. Bless their families, their relationships. Heal family members that's been sick that they've been praying for. Close some of us back into our right mind, those that are going through some things, dementia and all the various diseases. Those that are going through cancer and arthritis and high blood pressure, low blood pressure and diabetes and worry, fear. I pray, Lord, that you would do in 2022 a new thing, a new thing in our lives. Give us new relationships with you. Give us a newer walk with you. Give us a newer talk with you. Give us a newer praise with you. Do a new thing. Change the old things that are broken. Change the old things that are in the way and make them new again. In the name of Jesus, not because of who we are, not because we are so worthy, but because of who we represent and because of whose we are. We are your children. For as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons and daughters of God. So now, Lord, we are your children, and you are our father. And as a father provides for his family, I pray, Lord, that you, our Heavenly Father, provide every need in this family of a great amount of here on today. Bless this ministry like you've never blessed it before. Do a new thing in this church. Do a new thing in our lives. Give us where there might be a need. Fill that need, Lord, that it's not for us, but that it may be used for your glory. And in Jesus' name we pray. We thank God. Thank God. Now put your hands together and thank God in advance. As we prepare for our communion services, those that are needed will get in your places at this point, at this time. And as they come to prepare the table, communion, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the price that you paid on our behalf. For without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission of sin. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. There's no name under heaven whereby we must be saved, but by the name of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And now, Lord, as we partake of this bread, as we remember your body that was broken for us and in this cup, as we remember your blood that was shed for us, that it would wash away our sins, let us not partake of this unworthily, but we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over us, Lord, that it would be a blessing to each and every one of us, both the servants and the receivers. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen.
Terry, why don't we stand in the reverence of God's word? For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who drinks, excuse me, for he who eat and drinks in, in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we could judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment, and the rest I will set in order when I come. And in like manner, he took the bread and blessed it and gave it to his disciples. And also he took the cup and blessed it and gave it to his disciples.
and you took the bread and said, this is my body which is broken for you, even in the name of the Lord. And you took the cup and blessed it and said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Drink it in the name of the Lord. Come on, say it one more time. There's power. There's power. Wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Put those hands together. I've had some good days and I've had some bad days. But turn somebody and tell them my good days. I'll lay my bad days. As we go through this year 2022. And I'm going to leave with this one scripture. He said, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So praise him this year when you're up. Bless him when you're down. Bless him this year when you're well. Bless him this year when you're sick. Bless him this year when you have. Bless him this year when you don't have. And your good days, your good days will always outweigh your bad days. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word on today. We thank you for seeing fit to bless us through another year, to see a brand new year, a brand new year of expectations, a brand new year of living and serving and walking with you and giving you praise. Bless each and every one of us here, name by name, person by person, need by need, and those that are watching or listening online. Let no one leave the same way that they came, but let them leave the better for coming. And camp your angels round about us to protect and keep us from all harm and danger, whether it be seen or unseen, until we meet again at the appointed hour. We need for giving you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And let the church say. God bless you. Have a blessed week.
You have been listening to Greater Mount Olive Church of God in Christ Sunday morning message with our pastor, Carl Lawton Sr. Next time you're in Los Angeles, stop by and worship with us at 6810 South Figueroa Street. That's 6810 South Figueroa Street, Los Angeles, 90003. Our morning services start at 11.30 a.m. Follow us on Facebook to be notified of our next live stream broadcast of another powerful and spirit-filled service. See you next week and stay blessed.